Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy KJ here. And if you're here, it's probably because of the Lapa. It's the gun that comes in the Halloween event. And you've either unlocked it or you're working on unlocking it and trying to figure out, is this thing any good? And that's exactly what I thought. And I unlocked it and I played with it for a little while. And, well, I've got some info for you. And I've got it for you right now. We got somebody on us here, Tooth. What do you do? Enemy UAV overhead. <laughs> Downed him. Your mom's a ha. <laughs> so the Halloween challenges under the haunting tab show you all the different stuff that you got to do in order to unlock the Lapa. And the one I think a lot of people are struggling with is this one right here, which is eliminate five enemy humans while playing as a ghost. I know it's pretty hard and everybody's out running Callies. I didn't actually have too many problems. I ran into one guy who had the size, same thing, but with more range, and I was able to get him down. So just stay at it and you'll get them done. But is the Lapa, you know, worth unlocking? Well, it's not bad, actually, and I do like it. I've played a lot of games with it, and it's pretty decent. So if you're frustrated and you're still working on unlocking it, I would say stay at it because the lap is actually pretty decent. And it may end up, I don't think it's top tier like the OTS-9 for a really close range, but it's definitely like right in the top tier with like, you know, the AK-74U and the PPSH. It's definitely as good as both of those guns. So let me show you a little bit of info on the two guns, uh, you know, on it versus those other guns. Now, if I look at the Lapa versus some of the other very popular guns that I've been looking at recently, so the AK-74U, the CX-9, the Modern Warfare MP5, OTS-9, and the PPSH, I've been checking all these guns out, and I'm going to do a shootout on all of them together. The Lapa, which I've been waiting on now, sort of fits in right around the um, AK-74U PPSH style um, SMG, where it's not a super fast killer up close, but at range, it's definitely really good, and it stays right in range with the PPSH and the AK-47. It's very tight and they tend to be the better guns at range. So if you also like to use your SMG and shoot a lot at range or maybe you carry an SMG as sniper support or you're using a really long range um, gun like an LMG or a longer range AR, those are really good ones to carry with you because they're good at close and they're sort of good at that mid range as well. And the Lapa fits right in there. So if that's part of your gameplay, then you definitely want to unlock this thing. It does work pretty dang close up close as well. It's a little better than both the PPS SH and the AK-74U up close. Now, of course, it's outshine up close by the Modern Warfare MP5 and the OTS-9, which are sort of that, you know, zero to 10 meter uh, killer. So, but if you really like playing in that range, you can also use shotguns as well, which are very effective in that range. However, the Lapa, you know, it definitely has, um, you know, some decent range before the first drop off. And it's only got one drop off versus say like the OTS-9, which has two damage range drop offs. So after about 15 meters, the OTS-9 is pretty bad. Um, CX-9 as well. So, you know, with only the two drop-offs, it definitely makes it that sort of longer range style SMG. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to notice about the Lapa is the iron sights on it are terrible. I tried to use them. It's a no-go. You got to use a Microflex LED. But that doesn't really bother me because I like the Microflex LED, especially with the blue dot we got this season in the Battle Pass. And up close, it gives you a really nice clean sight picture. It has a good time to kill. And watch this right here. This guy was right beside me. I didn't even know it. I still managed to get him down. It was close, but I survived. And he was using a Farah at close range. So, I mean, it definitely works and has a good time to kill up close if you're facing up against a guy with an AR. So it's certainly a strong gun. And even at a little bit of range, like this guy here, you know, I hit him a few times and he ran away. And I just sort of wait him for him to come out of cover. You know, you think he would probably outweigh me, but he didn't. Anyway, no problem getting him down. So, you know, when you're facing with multiple guys, the fast reload from the fast mag, which I'm running, I'll show you in a second, definitely makes it quick to get those reloads off. And you got 45 bullets in the chamber, so you can do lots of damage. This guy flying in, boom, no problem getting him down. And then his buddy was the uh, last one here that I chased under. He left me that uh, nice death calm you saw in the opener there. And for the record, my mom is a very nice lady. Uh, so this is what you get for saying that kind of crap is uh, you get smoked by your boy KJ. So anyway, that's what happens. It's a pretty good gun though. I enjoy using it. I like the feel of it. And you know, here at longer range. So if you like those longer range style guns, this will really appeal to you.
So I'm carrying the Lapa with the AK-47, the Cold War. I really like this gun, still play with a lot, although I'm gonna try the EM-2. I've heard a lot of guys saying that it's really good now, so I'm gonna go and try that, and you'll probably see that in a future video. However, let's talk about the Lapa right now, and just before I jump into that, though, I wanna say thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and here is subbed to the channel. I really appreciate all the love and support, so thank you, guys. Really and truly thank you. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, consider subscribing, because it really does help small content creators like myself. All right, let me show you my build. So the build on the Lapa is a little different than all of the other SMGs. The attachments are slightly different. It looks like they're trying to add more variation to SMGs, so not every build is the same. And let me show you what I mean. So by the muzzle, all right, so I'm using the agency suppressor. That's the same. Sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. But when you look at the barrels, there's no task force. They've sort of switched it up. And on this gun, I'm using the rifled because it gives you more damage and more fire rate. The gun already has decent range, so I don't really feel like, you know, I'm using any of these other ones. I really feel like this one's the best. Now for the optic, the Microflex LED is definitely the way to go. And for that reticle, you just got to, uh, you know, come on over here and grab the blue dot. I've really been liking this one here out of this season's battle pass. It's really great with the Microflex. So for the stock, I normally run the Raider stock, but on this gun, the Raider and the CQB both have the same sprint to fire time and tactical sprint to fire time. But the CQB, it doesn't hurt your um, hip fire as much. And sometimes I find myself hip firing this gun. So this one here, the hip fire is only a minus 10%, where it's like minus 50% on this one. So I'm running this one on this gun. And for the magazine, well, let me show you real quick, because on some guns, you run the Stenag 50, and on other guns, you want to run the Fast Mag, like the OTS-9. It's crazy fast on the, on the Fast Mag. And this gun is also a Fast Mag gun, and let me show you what I mean. So on some guns, the fast mags don't actually even make the reload any faster and they don't do anything to the ADS or you end up with an ADS negative, so it slows it down. But on this gun, it's like the OTS-9 where you get the improvement on the reload but with no impact to your ADS speed at all. And here's what I'm talking about. So here is the fast mag on the left and on the right is the Stenag 50. And if you watch the reload speed, they both start at exactly the same time, but the fast mag finishes at 2.2 seconds, and you can see that the Stenag is still reloading, so the fast mag definitely does make the reload faster, and it's 2. Point, we'll call it 6, so 400 milliseconds faster. And the ADS, well, there's no penalty to the ADS at all. Watch as I pull this across. You can see here, if anything, it almost looks like the salvo is faster. You see the reticle is almost in the center where this one's still a little offset on the same frame. Now that may be frame rounding. So if we're gonna call it that, it definitely has the exact same ADS speed. So there's no ADS penalty at all, yet you get a pretty good reload speed penalty or uh, buff. So definitely wanna run the fast because you can see how much faster it is than the regular Stenag 50. Now the only downside is you get 45 bullets instead of 50, but I think I'd rather the faster reload speed than the extra five bullets. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you rather have the 50 bullets or would you rather have, you know, 400 milliseconds taken off your total reload time, which is actually a pretty big amount. So let me know your thoughts. I'm running the fast mag and it's been really great for me. And this is how I've been running this gun, and it's been really solid. I really like it. I think it's worth unlocking and using. And if you like the play style with the PPSH and the AK-74U, this that gun will definitely appeal to you. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you got the Lapa unlocked? Are you liking the Halloween event? Or are you like, nah, forget it. I just, I don't need one more SMG that's the same as some of the other ones. So I always like completing challenges and doing that stuff. I find it fun and rewarding doing the challenges and unlocking things and, you know, leveling guns up. It's just one thing that I kind of like, which is maybe why I have a channel and I try all the guns out because it's just something that I enjoy. So if you also enjoy it, get in there and get this thing unlocked. I think it's worth unlocking and using. I had a pretty good, uh, a pretty good bunch of rounds playing with it and found that it was pretty strong like sometimes new guns come out and they're not all that great this one's pretty good i think it's not top tier like the ots9 but it's right on the cusp of being you know top tier and it's definitely viable to use and if you like to use sort of slightly off meta stuff the lap is definitely going to be off meta um, versus say the ots9 or you know the ppsa so give it a shot and let me know your thoughts and as always guys if you don't see me in warzone if you don't see me in multiplayer it's only a matter of time baby king james out